the fourth be with you always. Are you rocking Leia buns? Absolutely, I am. <laughs> Now, let's see if we can't figure out what you are, my little friend. And where you come from. I saw part of the message. You... I seem to have found it. General Kenobi, years ago, you served my father in the Clone Wars. Now he begs you to help him in his struggle against the Empire. I regret that I am unable to present my father's request to you in person, but my ship has fallen under attack, and I'm afraid my mission to bring you to Alderaan has failed. I have placed information vital to the survival of the Rebellion into the memory systems of this R2 unit. My father will know how to retrieve it. You must see this droid safely delivered to him on Alderaan. This is our most desperate hour. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. Oh. My thanks. Welcome. Aren't you a little short for a guard? <laughs> Okay, um, aren't you a little short for a guard? Is that supposed to be ironic? Yes. We must go quickly and avoid notice. If our people find me, mm, I'll be killed. So good. With our combined strength, we can end this destructive conflict and bring order to the galaxy. I'll never join you! If only you knew the power of the dark side. Obi-Wan never told you what happened to your father. He told me enough! He told me you killed him! No. I am your father. No. That's not true. That's impossible. Set your feelings. You know it to be true. No. No! And scene. <laughs> oh, that was um, both like truly a moment that I think I have always wanted to do and also horrendous because there was no way that I was gonna be able to do that in any seriousness. <laughs> lessons I ever had to learn in like acting school because you would do plays or like movies or TV shows you've already seen and like to not compare yourself and like try to do it exactly how another actor does it is like one of the hardest lessons to learn. There's always a bigger fish. I was trying to do it <laughs> as far away from the original as I possibly could. The Sith and the Jedi are similar in almost every way including their quest for greater power. The Jedi are selfless. We gotta breathe. They only care about others. Find our Sith Lord. Did you ever hear the tragedy of Dark Plagueis the Wise? Thought not. It's not a story the Jedi would tell you. It's a Sith legend. Darth Plagueis was a Dark Lord of the Sith, so powerful and so wise, he could use the Force to influence the Midichlorians to create life. He had such knowledge of the Dark Side, he could even keep the ones he cared from dying. The Dark Side of the Force is a pathway to many abilities some consider to be unnatural. He became so powerful, the only thing he was afraid of was losing his power, which eventually, of course, he did. Unfortunately, he taught his apprentice everything he knew. Then, his apprentice killed him in his sleep. Ironic. 
He could save others from death, but not himself. Is it possible to learn this power? <laughs> no. And <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> I was really trying to channel my inner Palpatine on that one, but also like have a little bit of Kira in there. You know, I wanted to make sure it was not it was not full Palpatine. I've just been so frustrated with the council. You are strong and wise, Anakin, and I am very proud of you. I have trained you since you were a small boy. I have taught you everything I know, and you have become a far greater Jedi than I could ever hope to be. But be patient, Anakin. It will not be long before the Council makes thy master. <laughs> what did you think? May the Force be with you. I was trying to do it as far away, as far away as from Ewan McGregor's as I possibly could. Oh. Oh. <laughs> At least we have... <laughs> At least we have the high ground. game and not expect me to fangirl all over it. Get out! Uh. <laughs> and what do you sacrifice? Calm, kindness, kinship, love. I've given up all chance at inner peace. I've made my mind a sunless space. I share my dreams with ghosts. What is my sacrifice? I'm condemned to use the tools of my enemy to defeat them. I burn my decency for someone else's future. I burn my life to make a sunrise that I know I'll never see. And the ego that started this fight will never have a mirror or an audience or the light of gratitude. So what do I sacrifice? Everything. You'll stay with me, Lonnie. <laughs> I need all the heroes I can get. You're welcome. At the center of the galaxy, there is a darkness reaching like rust into everything, into everything around us. We let it grow, and now it's here. It's here, and it's not visiting anymore. It wants to stay. The Empire is a disease that thrives in darkness. It is never more alive than when we sleep. It's easy for the dead to tell you to fight, and maybe it's true. Maybe fighting is useless. Perhaps it's too late. But I'll tell you this. If I could do it again, I'd wake up early and be fighting these bastards from the start. Fight the Empire. <laughs> that was just fine. May the fourth be with you and have fun on Revenge of the Fifth. Thank you very much. Uh, I'll see you next time. Ow.